Hi guys, Michael Nielsen here. Today is dig tying time. We're going to tie some of these new digs. First one up is this brown and orange squirrel dig. A super hot pattern for, for spring fishing. Hang on. Okay, here's a short clip of a small trout. I grabbed this jig when we tested it earlier this season. And let's get on with the tying. First I attach the tying thread. And put a little bit of warnings on the windings. This helped to glue these very slippery squirrel tail hair to the shank. I take out a bunch here, cut it off, pull out the short loose fibers and measure the length. I want the tail to be slightly longer than the hook shank. As you can see on these on these hooks with a bait holder, I uh, I tie in the material so they close that gap uh, right up behind the bait holder to give it a more even body. Then I take the body material, isolate the core, tie it in. This material is basically a cactus chenille, um, but this is a very, very soft material. Much more soft and pliable than most of those similar products that give a special movement of these fibers when the jig is in the water. I'll find the, the front haggle, prepare it for, for tying in, tie it in with the dull side facing backwards. So the fibers will lay smooth backwards, slanting backwards around the body. I pull all the fibers back for each turn and use the whole feather. I even leave the tip in there. This is a great lure for spring fishing and again for, for late autumn. I primarily use it when, when the water is cold. I guess it simulates a crawdad or a small golden bait fish. And those squirrel tail hair has got a lot of movement. even when the jig settles down on the bottom. The 
that's it, ready to go fishing. Okay guys, the brown and orange squirrel jig, that's all for today, thanks for watching.